everybody, I want you to check out this new wave duet with me. So this is a pressure cooker and an air fryer in one. The way that you are going to change it from pressure cooking to air frying is um, simply by switching the lid. So um, this is the pressure cooker lid and this is the air fryer lid here. So you've got the air fryer um, up top here. Um, and so it's simple, super easy to use. It's gonna come with a nice cooking basket, so that's gonna be stainless steel. You do get your interior bowl, which is gonna be stainless steel as well. And then you will get your um, air fryer accessories. So these are your air fryer, your air fryer basket and the tools that you're going to need to air fry. So um, this is so simple and easy to use. You are just going to um, take your um, whatever it is that you want to pressure cook. So I've got some um, chicken tenderloins here. I'm going to go ahead and put those in. And then you'll add a cup of um, liquid, whatever it is that you want into the base. And then we go ahead and we put the um, lid right on. So um, once you put it on here, and then it's already on pressure cook, but you have the option to push pressure cook. You can push your cook combo or you can do the air fryer mode. So that's up to you which one you want to pick and use. Um, what's cool about the pressure cooker though is that you can hit the program button and then you can press what you want. So there are some options up here like meats, grains, rice, steam, beans, and slow cooking. Um, and what you can do is you can just go ahead and um, push the start button and then it'll go ahead and preheat for you. Some other options here that you have is that you can just warm it. You can do a delay start. Um, you got your pressure, your sear, um, the temperature, and then you've got uh, time, preheat. So you have lots of different options here on what you wanna do. So I'm just gonna go back to the pressure cook. I'm gonna hit the program and then I'm gonna go ahead and start this. So this is gonna give you an automatic time of 40 minutes. Um, what you're gonna to wanna to do is just change it to whatever you, you need to start it at. So for me, I'm going to change it to um, 20 minutes. And it does default to high. If you wanted to pressure cook on low, you can change that. Um, some things to note up here is that this is the steam, um, like the pressure valve, so it can release at any time. So just be careful with that. And then you have the option back here to turn this on or off so that you can release the steam manually. So we'll go ahead and let this cook. I'll show you guys the final product of it. But what I like about it is that you can just set it and forget it. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and let it cook and push it over here in the corner. Um, and then I can go ahead and do something else. I really like the um, red color on it. It's super nice. Um, it just adds a pop of color to an otherwise boring set of appliances. Um, the thing that um, is nice about this though is that it's going to simplify your kitchen routine. Um, you have the combination air fryer and pressure cooker, so you don't have to have an air fryer and a pressure cooker. You could just use this and then you just change out the lid. So if you guys are looking for a great little pressure cooker, um, air fryer combo, this might be a really good find for you. When you push pressure cook, that's when it's gonna pop up with your different options that you can use for a pressure cook. Same thing with a combo and then air fry. And then you can pick. We'll shut our lid here. So with your air fryer mode, you can hit air fry and then you can change the temperature however high you want. We'll do 375 and then time I'm gonna do 20 minutes because these are sweet potato fries and then we'll just hit the start button on those. But you can see you do have other options. Um, you can do a bacon, potato, um, chicken breast, you can dehydrate fish, uh, frozen uh, foods, french fries, reheat, roast, and steak.